Look around, look around, how lucky we are to be in Salem right now. It's story time! We're playing Nancy Drew tonight. This is a new thing for us. We usually play Murder, She Wrote, but we've played all of Murder, She Wrote, so now we're going to play Nancy Drew. Once upon a time I was falling in love. Now there's only fun in my face. Should be nothing I can do. Total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> Total eclipse of the heart. Once upon a time I don't know why I was in the heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's start Nancy Druin. Amateur or master? You decide. Amateur or master? I think we might be master detectives. Amateur or master? Amateur or master? Amateur or master? Master. Dear Ned, Austria has been wonderful so far. Dad called. He wants me to get an old relic while I'm here. The Book of Apologies which dates back to the 17th century witch trials in Salem. I'll be going to Mosam Castle to retrieve it before I head back to the States. It's said to be haunted, so I'm expecting some good scares and mystery. Oh, fuck. Yes, the fuck is I'm this? I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. All of Judge Sewell's effects are there, just as your father requested. Although, I will tell you, as I told him, the desk is locked. Fuck that. What's in that barrel? Open what is this? Oh, click to move. Click objects to interact with them. Oh, much better. What a wonderful view. Hold the right mouse button to look around. Look around, look around. How lucky we are to be in Salem right now. Click on the screen's edge to turn. Ooh. This is Judge Sewell's. If the Book of Apologies does exist, he would have written it at that desk. And what's inside this alleged book? Apologies. Your father didn't tell you? Apologies. Mm. It was a ledger containing all the names of the accused witches from the Salem witch trials. Judge Sewell had doubts about his convictions, and he wrote the book as a means to make amends. Allegedly. History yes. is happening in Manhattan, and we just happen to be... I found a letter. I found a letter. Addressed to Abigail Hathorne Woodley. What does it say? I do regret to write to you in this state. I have been racked with guilt as my She's not letting me read the letters. Look at that Jesus desk. For her forgiveness and for God's. <gasps> Dear Abigail Hawthorne Wordley, I regret to write to you in this state. I have been racked with guilt, as my fervency of spirit was too great to determine a conviction just. Relentless have I cr relentlessly have I cried for this mercy, longing for his light to bathe my conscience clean. Over recent years, I have been sent punishments only attributable to godly- Woo! That's my mum's name! Wrath. Two of our daughters have perished, my wife's mother as well, and our latest child died and did not draw breath when born. I must repent. Let my children forever be held in anger and contempt, lest our children forever be held in contempt and amber by our father. To right this wrong made in zealous blindness, I am writing a book I call Fifty Shades of Grey. It will involve tampons and whipping to be worthy of his method. To be worthy of his mercy, I am traveling the world to note down all the names of the wrongly accused of witchcraft. Let this be my final legacy, my only way to right the wrong I have helped create. My guilt allows me to ask for forgiveness, although I know that my son remains forever tortured by the knowledge of what I have done, my soul. With regret, Judge Samuel Sewell. Thank you. What does this mean? I don't know, Nancy. I think it means he felt guilty for burning a load of fucking women alive. Jesus desk. Jesus desk. Ooh, I pressed a button. Now there is this thing. 
hold to look. Ooh, can I go under? No. How do I get back? That's how I get back. How do I get back? <laughs> what do I do? Ooh. No, I want to look in the bookshelf. No, I want to look in the fucking books. Fuck you, Nancy. Fuck you, Nancy Drew! The judge should act as follows in the continuation of torture. First, you should bear in mind that just as the same medicine is not applicable to all members, but there are various and distinct salves for each, uh, <laughs> for each several member. So, not all heretics or those accused of heresy are to be subjected to the same method of questioning. I'm sorry, is this saying that some witches can be cured by Vicks? Examination and torture as to the charges laid against them, but various and difficult means are to be employed. Blah, 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 blah. Means of it, oh, fuck off. No, I want to pick up a candle. Oh, this is gonky. Let me look at my phone. Can I tweet? Search Sewell's desk, find the book of apologies. Ned, my boyfriend's texting me. Got a dick prick from a hardy boy. Do you perhaps know why Carson would need such a book? Just out of curiosity, of course, it's just such a very unusual request. He's looking into it as a favor for the current judge in Salem. Oh, back to I don't want to fucking talk to you anymore. You Does anybody know what I'm supposed to be doing? No, Nancy Drew has never cracked one off in her lifetime. Oh, fuck this shit. Is there show text? Okay. Can I leave the room? Dr. Herp, yes. They're talking about fucking pancakes. Take all the time right, that need. wasn't that wasn't helpful. And there's not a hint button. Hey, right, over at the window. Oh, great. You know, that room used to be a prison cell. Mosan Castle was the site of the most famous and violent witch trials in Austrian history. <clears throat> the Salzburg witch trials. I know I've got to find the fucking book of apologies, but I've clicked on everything that I literally can click on. Judge Sewell willed his personal effects to be preserved by whichever museum. We shouldn't have clicked master. We've made a terrible mistake. The premier historical reference on witch trials. It ended up here. So, you've seen his book of apologies. The book written by Judge Sewell? Oh, no, 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 no. Guys. Guys. I'm calling it right fucking now. I fucking hate this game. I don't want to play it. Oh, it's crashed anyhow. Bye, Nancy Drew, you cow. Um, yeah, I did go for Master. I thought it made sense because it's Nancy Drew. It was. I thought it was like a wee girl who solved crimes. I didn't know it was an old hack at Nancy Drew who's like clever in that. I thought it was, oh, I'm Nancy Drew. I'm seven and I've got my net. I was getting Nancy Drew and Harry at the spy mixed up. That's, <laughs> that's what's happening. There's a killer in town. Oh, we're landing in the plane. This is more like it. Hey you, this is a crime scene. Hands in the air. It's that guy. Oh God. What the f- What the f- This is your task list. Check on it. To learn about the task you need to perform. Give Rossi- Nice buns. Thank you. Give Rossi handcuffs. Oh, do it. Oh, okay. I've got them. And I'm giving them. Good work, Agent Rossi. Way to get the ball rolling. We have our crime scene and our victim. Can you and Agent Morgan handle things here while I go down to the police station with our suspect? Don't worry, Hutch. We'll get the profile on this sicko and bring him in. Yay! Find the items on the list at the bottom of the screen. Some of the items on your list are blue and appear scrambled. Find the question marks in the scene to unscramble the blue. Yay! No, this isn't Nancy Drew detail. We had to stop playing that because it was big a bastard. 
oh, karaoke time. Ah, bad the form, bad the form for you. <laughs> oh, period stain. Okay, that's why we were doing body form. I'm missing all the fucking jokes. I'm just in a sheer panic. Fondue set top right. Oh, I thought that was a lampshade, guys. I'm so sorry. We are never mentioning Nancy Drew ever again. Boy, 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 boy. Nancy can go and suck Ned's dick for all I care. A faucet is just a fancy word for a tap or a Charlie's Angel. If it starts with a Farah. Funnel behind cup. So it fucking is well done. Where else would a fucking funnel be? Found a watch. This could be her victim's watch. Okay, did I go and put it on her dead body wrist? This is fucking creepy. Do I use a paper clip on her? No. Don't think that'll help. Can't believe I poked a body with a paper clip. Okay, I can go through the bins. Oh, there's her shirt. Okay. Question mark. Our dead lady shirt. Pipe next to sad crocs. The fuck are sad crocs? Okay, those are sad crocs. Right, let's go up and dress a corpse. Hello, pretty lady. Time to put your t-shirt back on. Ooh, got to find her necklace. Okay. Ooh, puzzle time to puzzle time to puzzle. Okay. And this is what you learn in detective school, guys. You learn how to put together jigsaws and how to find out who killed the lady. I remember that letter I showed you I lost it with my purse at the air party last night. Do you? The moments before the murder are crucial. We should print this out and check out on the art square. Maybe we'll find that purse. I love how in this everybody's printer works. Take this car down to the police station. After you've interrogated the landlord, we can finish up here with the crime scene. Thanks, Agent Morgan. We've set up a connection to Garcia at Quantico on a computer in the maintenance room there. Talk to her if you need to run out any information, okay? I'm afraid that our presence is going to inspire the unsub to strike again. Oh, I've left. Oh, shit. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if this was real and I was just driving back and forth? <laughs> Ooh, sparkles! Candy cane on the American flag. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Oh, I love that song. And there's his ID. And I did not expect him to be called Gary. An ID. We've got you now, Gary. Hello, Gary. I'm Agent Rossi, FBI. Are you Mr. Rue? Gary Rue? Yeah, that's me. I didn't have anything to do with me. Can't see me if you're my If you see me, I'm seeing you. Not so fast. We're not done here. How exactly did you come to find Kate Miller's body? Did you have her permission to enter her apartment? Me, me. But I'm a little. Why do I get the impression you're hiding something? I'm secretly bummed in. Yeah, that's money. Nothing in you but that. Paper clip! This is interrogation. <laughs> do you like heart? In this interrogation, this is supposed to be at me. Oh, hold on. Let's run Gary's fingerprints, okay. Right. Oh, okay. What am I? Am I looking for the odd one out? What am I doing? Oh, there are tasks. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Right, hold on. Close that and look at the tasks. Background check of the landlord at the police station, but I need to get the computer working for that. Find our necklace, find the art on the square party, and power Garcia's computer. But I don't know how to get the power working, so that's not something... There's the plug. Out of a wire. Look at, oh, there's the wire. Spoke too soon. I'm on fire. Fire, fire. Found a wire. Getting the computer on the internet. Gonna look at Diddy's. 
gonna get the computer on the internet. Gonna look at ditties. Hey, Garcia. Morning, guys. I'm still here at Quantico. Sorry I couldn't join you there in Austin, but I'm afraid of flying. No problem. I can still help out, though. If you can give me an idea of any suspect, I can check up on them. She's a fucking ledge. Your landlord, Gary Rue, that's an alias. His real name is Gary Brewer, and he served time in two different states for burglary and petty larceny. When is this set? Why are we faxing? Looks like the fax is out of ink. Every printer in this fucking game works apart from this one because it's out of ink. Would it be too much to ask you to lend me some caution tape? Stopping all these people coming in and out of the community center while we clean is a real hassle. What a fucking creep. Pinching it! <laughs> Harold Pinching nice ink! Ones. Thank you! Harold Pinching ink! Caution tape for the gardener who's a creepy guy. That should do it. Got Gary's profile. This should be what we need to interrogate Gary. Got to show Gary this. We checked your record. Your real record, Gary Brewer. Are you playing games with us? Well, let's see who wins. <gasps> Mahjong! Right, shh. Mahjonging. I love Mahjong. Shoes. Swirly head. Many skulls. Rochebard test. Six dots. Many skulls. One skull. Rochebard test. Bags of money. Why the new name, Roa? What were you hiding? What do you mean? I didn't do nothing. Did you know every time you lie, your right eye twitches? Diamonds. Look, I didn't get her, I swear! No? Why did we find her in our apartment then? I, uh... Wolf head. Butterfly. Head. Four skulls? Two skulls. Four skulls. Swirly head. Swirly head. Flower. Jelly hand! Please, I'm innocent. Innocence is relative. Your record says you're a thief. It wouldn't be hard to get a maximum sentence for you. Okay, okay, I took her necklace. She owed me the month back, right? but I swear I didn't kill her. I stashed her necklace under the sign in the apartment. Can I go now? You disgust me! We know the crime wasn't robbery or sexually motivated, and we know the attacker wasn't a stranger to this young paper. Why did the unsub take something as intimate as hair? To wank on. Let's have a medical examiner take her to the morgue. Oh my god, professionalism in a crime scene. This is nothing like murder. <laughs> <gasps> Look at the fucking mess of this place. <gasps> Who is this gender non-specific beauty? Sorry, I'm a mess. I'm too upset to talk right now. We will pick up criminal minds. I think we had fun. Thank you to everybody who subscribed, who followed. You're all very kind and I'm very grateful to you. And thank you so much. Hi friends, you can help support this channel by going to ashleystoryshop.co.uk and getting yourself some of my cool merch that says like nice buns or you're excellent or rice to meet you or you can share it with a friend or you can like and subscribe, whatever you fancy. Thank you for watching. I'm Sean. And I'm Ashley. And you can listen to our podcast Are We Being Unreasonable? On Apple Podcasts. And Spotify. Go to Spotify or Apple Podcasts now and subscribe to Are We Being Unreasonable for great, funny conversations with your favourite comedians.